Welcome to this lesson on equation of a circle notes continued. In this lesson, I'll be going over how to determine if a point is on a circle and how to write the equation of a circle given the center and a point. All right, so to, to determine if a point is on a circle, substitute the point into the formula for x and y. Okay, so example number one is the point 2, 3 on the circle. So I'm going to substitute in 2 for x and 3 for y and see if it gives me 16. All right, so 2 minus 2 squared, well, it's 0 squared, that's just 0. 3 plus 1 is 4 squared. And that does give me 16, so that would be a yes. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. So 0 plus 1 squared plus 5 minus 4 squared, and see if that gives me 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. That does not equal 1, so that would be a no. All right, pause the video now and try the next one by yourself. Okay, so let's see if I plug in or substitute in 5 for x and 2 for y. So that gives me 6, and 6 squared is 36. That gives me 0, and 0 squared is 0. 36 plus 0 is 36, so you should have gotten yes. All right, moving on, writing the equation given the center and a point. So the first step is to substitute the center and the point into the formula for, X, for H, K, X, and Y. And remember, your center is H and K. Your point is X and Y. Then we're going to solve for the radius. And then finally, we're going to write the equation with the center and the radius. Okay, so in example number one, write the equation of a circle with a center of 0, 0. So that would be my h and my k. A point of 5 and negative 12, so that would be my x and y. All right, so look back at the top of your paper. Here is the equation of a circle. I'm just going to substitute those four values in. All right, so x minus h, so 5 minus 0 squared plus y minus k, so negative 12 minus 0 squared. And that's going to equal r squared, which is what I'm solving for. All right, so 5 minus 0 is 5. 5 squared is 25. Negative 12 minus 0 is negative 12. And negative 12 squared is 144. I'm going to add those together and I get 169, which means my radius is 13 if I take the square root. Okay, so now I'm going to use my radius and my center to write the equation of the circle. So remember, if your center is 0, 0, then the equation starts out x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared, 13 squared, so 169. So really, if you just wanted to stop at this step, you could and just use it here. All right, let's try one more example together. So write the equation of a circle with a center of 2, negative 3, that's h and k, and a point at negative 4, 5, that's x and y. So x minus h, negative 4 minus 2, squared plus y minus k, so 5 minus negative 3, squared equals r squared. All right, so I'm going to simplify in the parentheses first, not try to do all this in my head. So negative 4 minus 2, that's negative 6 squared plus 5 minus negative 3, that's the same thing as 5 plus 3, so 8. Now I'm going to square each number, so negative 6 squared is positive 36. 8 squared is 64. And that would give me 100. 
And we know that means my radius is 10, but I really need the radius squared for the equation, so I'm going to stop there. So I'm going to use this in my center to write the equation. So x minus 2 squared plus y plus 3 squared. Remember the signs change because in the formula it's x minus h and y minus k equals our radius squared, which is 100. All right, pause the video now and try the last one by yourself. All right, so this is hk, xy. Let's see how you did. All right, so that would give me 8 squared, which is 64, 7 squared, which is 49. Add those together, you get 113. So my final answer would be x plus 5 squared and y plus 7 squared equals 113. Alright, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete the practice page and check it with your teacher.